Understanding Basics of Multiple Screens Well, in this video, you will learn all the commonly used UI terminologies. Currently, we are in section 1 and we are about to check out the second video of this section. So firstly, let's check out what is the screen size and what is screen resolution. Well, whenever we measure the size of the screen, we measure it diagonally. For example, this is our application. So here our screen size is 5.5 inch which is measured diagonally. Now what about the screen resolution? We often say my screen resolution is 720 cross 1280 pixel. What does that mean? Well, it is basically the number of pixel aligned vertically on your device and also horizontally. Similarly, this is the resolution of full HD screen. Now proceeding, what is a pixel? Well, the pixel is abbreviated as PX and one pixel represent one physical dot on the screen. For example, this is our screen, which is made up of pixels. So this single dot on the screen represent one pixel. Then we have density independent pixel, abbreviated as DP. Well, DP is again the pixel unit, but this time it is independent of the density of the device screen. What do I mean by this? I will come to this shortly. Well, we use DP to define the layouts or views dimension. Well, the unit DP simply scales the views or layout as per the device screen density. Then we have scale independent pixel, which is abbreviated as SP. Well, it is again similar to DP, but it is only used for the text view. Now, how SP and DP are different? Well, in case of DP, it simply scales the views as per the device screen density. But in case of SP, it simply scales the text view as per the device screen density as well as user setting preference. So from the settings application, the user can select the font size as small, medium, large, something like that. Proceeding, what is meant by the screen density? Well, we measure the screen density in terms of DPI, which stands for dots per inch. Now in Android, the baseline density is known as the medium density, that is MDPI devices. Now these devices has 160 dots per inch. So what I mean by 160 dots per inch? This means on the screen of the device, we have 160 dots per inch. So here one dot represent one pixel. Similarly, next we have high density devices that is HDPI devices that has 240 dots per inch on the screen. So accordingly, number of dots per inch increases and hence it gets more denser. Next we have X HDPI devices, double X and also triple X HDPI devices. So accordingly dots per inch increases Hence, it gets more denser. So if you notice, as we move down, the number of dots per inch increases. So as per what we have discussed, DPI stands for dots per inch. That is, quantity of pixels within a given physical area per inch. For example, for the MDPI devices, we have 160 dots per inch. Similarly, for HDPI devices, we have this value. Pretty simple, isn't it? Now proceeding to get some more clarity, let us establish a relationship between DPI, DP and PX. Just for a quick recap, DPI stands for dots per inch. DP stands for density independent pixels. And well, PX stands for pixel. Well, all of these three are related with the help of just one simple formula. PX equal to DP into DPI by 160. Well, you don't have to remember this formula. So 1 dp equal to how many pixel for the MDPI devices? Similarly, we will calculate 1 dp equal to how many pixel for the HDPI devices. So on the left, let us use this formula such as 1 dp into 160 dpi divided by 160 which comes out to be 1 dp equal to 1 pixel. Similarly, for the HDPI devices, let us use the same formula such as 1 dp into 240 dpi divided by 160 that comes out to be 1.5 pixel. Now similarly for 
एक्स एस डी पी आई डबल एक्स एंड ट्रिपल एक्स एस डी पी आई वी हैव दीज डी पी वैल्यूज इन टर्म्स ऑफ पिक्सल एंड रिमेंबर वी आर यूजिंग द डी पी आई वैल्यूज विच वी सॉ इन द प्रीवियस स्लाइड नाउ लुकिंग एट ऑल ऑफ दीज वैल्यूज वी कैन डिफाइन अ स्केल फैक्टर सच एज वन पिक्सल देन वन पॉइंट फाइव पिक्सल सिमिलरली टू थ्री एंड फोर पिक्सल सो दीज ऑल आर रिलेटेड टू ईच अदर विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस स्केल फैक्टर नाउ यू माइट आस्क वॉट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दीज स्केल फैक्टर नाउ फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस स्लाइड वी नो दैट वी यूज डी पी एज अ यूनिट फॉर व्यूज डायमेंशन वेल वाई सो फॉर दैट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ डी पी इज कन्वर्टेड टू पिक्सल इन द रन टाइम दैट इज वेन वी रन द एप्लीकेशन वॉट हैपन्स टू द डायमेंशन ऑफ द व्यूज Now suppose we have a view whose height is 100 dp and width as match parent. Let us assume this is our view where we have the height of 100 dp and the width of match parent. So let us focus on what happens to the 100 dp in the runtime. Now suppose we run the application in the MDPI device. So for the MDPI device we have the scale factor of 1x. So in the runtime this 100 dp will be converted into pixel with the help of this scale factor of 1x so 100 into 1 will be 100 pixel so in the run time our view height will be 100 pixel as simple as that now suppose we run the same application in case of x sdpi device so for this device we have the scale factor of 2x so in the run time this 100 dp will be 100 into 2 which comes out to be 200 pixel so our height of the view will be 200 pixel so here if you notice the dp is converted into the pixel value as per the device screen density now you might ask what is the actual significance of this so for that you can perform the density test by first using pixel as a value now if you use pixel as a value your view's dimension in the run time will not scale as per the device screen density as the density of the device increases your views will look much smaller but if you use dp as a unit so in that case the dimension of the views will scale accordingly as per the device screen density so that is why we use dp as a unit for the views dimension and yes always remember this scale factor we will use it in our future videos as well so in the end always remember use dp as a unit for all the views except for the text view where we use sp fine so that's all for this video now in the next video we will see what are the best practices for creating the flexible layout